Born and raised here in Lagia in southern Israel, Dr. Amal Alsana al Hajuj's desire for more equality for Bedouin women started from her early childhood, a passion that led her to become the founder of the first Bedouin women's organization at the age of 17. I became very aware of women uh, issues since my early age, like my childhood, being aware of how the community and the patriarchal system is treating women. We came together to establish the Women uh, Lagia organization, one, to provide employment for uh, my mother's generation and also raise awareness around women's rights and also take this second generation in a way that the relationship with our mothers will be a relationship of being proud of her and not looking at her because she never went to a formal education as someone who knows uh, less than us. Under the Lagia Women Organization, there are four programs. One, the biggest, is the embroidery project. Under the embroidery project, there is a program called a, a, a visits uh, center where the people would come, have lunch, uh, listen to one of our lectures about women's status and then buy the product. And with every stitch here at the Desert Embroidery Project and Visitor Center in Lagia, the fabric of Bedouin society is changing. That's one thing that was very important for us, that whatever women create is something that would empower them, something that would speak to them, something that would come from their strength and w won't be imposed on them. So the idea of choosing embroidery is that we start from where the women are. We start from their strength and we start from things that they feel belonging to. It's crucial because some of the women that work here have zero income and zero support. There is no husbands around. Sometimes there is no relatives around to help. So this, is, this uh, place is the only source of income and even if it's minimum, but it's still, it's an income and also the only source of support. In the past, all the time, the woman uh, has to be at home, has to be to stay at home. If the husband, the, the husband or the father decided everything about the, the woman. But when we start to, to do something for women, they start to think about it. Okay, it's my money. I can do what I want with, them, with my money. You know how that, what that means for the women to come here and to work and once a month to come to take their money and to see other women it's it's big thing for the women. But this isn't the only place that's turning women's lives around. South of Lagia is the town Yeruham, and until the 1990s, the majority of its residents came from communities in North Africa. It's here where the project, the Culinary Queens of Yeruham, isn't only allowing women cook authentic food from their culture for tourists, but also serving up women's empowerment. The project has been life-changing for Shula Knafo, who was born in Casablanca in Morocco and arrived in Israel at the age of six. She says the project helped her at a time when she faced economic hardship. I really like the kitchen. I like my work. It's fun. And even more fun to receive groups. Because of the project, I raised myself up. I got a salary for the bank account. I have a pension. I have a financial fund. Everything I need. And Shula Knafo has given back, helping others, including during the coronavirus pandemic. There was a lockdown, but I could cook and let it be known that whoever near Ocham needed food could come and take. And another place where one woman is making a difference here on the grounds of Eshkolot Farm in Mitzbe Ramon in southern Israel. Simcha Marom is the owner of Eshkolot, a vineyard and orchard of olives and grapes. She arrived to Mitzbe Ramon in southern Israel, but her husband Roni was eventually elected as the mayor there, and Simcha decided to take matters into her own hands and run the vineyard. We grow most of our trees, uh, we are growing olives for oil, uh, extra virgin oil. Other uh, uh, things that we grow is for uh, making agrotourism. The challenge is water. The water that we use now is uh, it's not there's no rain here. It's recycling water from uh, from uh, the pools in Mitzperamon. Uh, so this is what helps us to, to uh, irrigate all the year. And uh, the other challenge is the, is the soil. How we, uh, what we are doing, we, uh, every couple of uh, years, we put compost inside the soil 
and, uh, and uh, this is how we keep uh, a good uh, soil for the tourists. And Simcha is now teaching the younger generation. Once a week, we have uh, some uh, students that come to, from the schools in Mitzpah Ramon, and uh, they are uh, with me all the day. Uh, we study about what we are doing here, and I hope that uh, part of, the, of our uh, uh, culture will uh, pass to the uh, students and the young uh, people. Through these businesses, these women can do anything.